Hey what's up everybody, thank you for checking this video. If you want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe. But even if you don't, enjoy and happy coding! Welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In this video we're going to take a look on how to extend a little bit more the work that we did in the templates in the previous video. So what we achieved in the previous tutorial was just simply allowing the user to select a predefined template in the template dropdown selection posts and pages and then overriding the template loading section of WordPress to include our custom template. But have you ever used one of those plugins that as soon as you activate they completely override the entire UI of your front end and they load custom templates or something that you cannot even access inside your themes. Well this is something that it's really easy to do and WordPress allows us to do automatically for every single page. So what I want to do today, I want to override the usage of the default template for the front page, in my case just a full list of blog posts and load a custom template only if the user is accessing the front page. And this is going to be really quick and really easy to do. This episode is brought to you by SkySilk. If you're looking for a free Linux based VPS in the cloud, go to skysilk.com. No strings attached, just awesome stuff. So if we access our template controller, that is the one that we're using to override the behavior of WordPress, we don't need to add any new filter because the full filter, everything that happens whenever a template is loaded, it's handled by the template include filter. So we can extend this load template method that we defined in order to add extra options and extra conditions to manage the things that we want. So for example, Right after we check if this is actual post, if we're not returning something different from a post or a page, I want to have another condition. So I want to have a condition that if is the front page load a custom template. So something that completely overrides, something that is not selectable by the user, but whenever the user sees the front page, we want to load another template. So let's do it. It's pretty simple. We already know the conditional tags of WordPress because we use them multiple times that we can check if this page is the front page. And if this is true, we should load a custom template that we want to override that we want to print instead of the regular one. So we can define once again a custom file variable with this flagging path default one and then check our once again page dash templates folder and check if we have for example a front page.php file and of course now we can pretty much copy paste the same thing that we're checking here if the file exists return the file otherwise don't do anything so pasting this here Perfect. Now if we save it and if we access our front page and we reload, nothing happens. Still we're seeing the default template of this 2017 theme that I have currently activated because of course we don't have that file, this front page.php doesn't exist. So let's create that file inside our page template and let's create a new file called front page.php. Let's copy all these shenanigans here with the header and the footer, but I don't need to specify the template name. And here I want to create a custom title uh, front page template just to recognize and just leave this paragraph in here. Perfect. So now if we access back our front page and we reload, boom, look what we have here. Our front page template. This is loading properly. Fantastic. So as you can see, we did this, we are loading a custom template that we specified in our plugin, not in our theme, by simply checking inside this load template that it's called whenever WordPress includes a template for a specific post or page. We're checking if this is the front page, load this front page, otherwise keep doing this. And this is a really short and easy example on how to do this sort of stuff. But with this really simple method, we can do something way more complicated or completely override the entire theme and all the sections of all the pages of WordPress. And if you want to know a little bit more about these conditional tags to check which page the user is currently looking at, you can check the official WordPress documentation at developer.wordpress.org in the conditional tags section. You can find the link in the description below this video. And here you can literally check 
whatever you want. You can check if this is the front page, of course, if it's an admin panel, if it's looking, the user is looking at a single post or a specific post with a specific name, is looking at an archive, a specific post type, is looking at the comment section and so on. So you have access to all these conditional tags in order to load whatever template you want or change the behavior of WordPress however you want. And of course, if you want to create a plugin that comes with custom template sections for each page, you can do something more modular. So you could potentially create a switch statement in PHP and check in if it's the front page, load a specific template, if it's the archive, load another template, if it's the single post, load another template, and then check if the file exists, it's defined, just return the file, Otherwise, just keep continuing whatever we defined before. I told you this was a super short tutorial and super easy to use. Well, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.